Some breaking news right now. We are just now getting our first look at two cars possibly involved in yesterday's drive by shooting in Aurora. Six teenagers were injured in that shooting. All six went to Aurora Central High School and police right now offering $7,000 for any information about these vehicles. Now today, Aurora's police chief said two of yesterday's drive by shooting victims. They have significant injuries and have a long haul ahead of them. Number seven's Russell Haythorn is live at that park this evening. Russell, police say they hope to get uh, more specific sus suspect information out sometime tonight. Yes, yeah, Shannon, you guys talked about the two suspect vehicles and police are hoping to release more information about those suspects as early as this evening. Police were all over this area today, both in uniform and some undercover officers as this community was rocked by violence yet again. Yesterday's violence sparking outrage and action in Aurora today. It's showing its ugly face again, and we see the violence and we see the youth being affected. Lieutenant Carl Esquivel generation. with the Salvation Army of Aurora leading a robust response to the violence, hosting a safe space and youth action march tomorrow. Something that's very important for us to do is to organize, bring different organizations together, bring different uh, faith organizations together in order that we can not only talk about it, but do something something about it as a united front. But the reality here is pretty grim. Anything could be better. This neighbor who wanted to remain anonymous returned home after the shooting to find several bullet holes in his Jeep. This is the life we live every day. It is. This is the life in Aurora. Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman saying in part the most important function of government is the protection of its people and public safety must always be a priority. This is where everyone hangs out during lunch. Just hang out, talk with our friends, talk about school. Eduardo Arroyo Ramirez, a junior at Aurora Central, isn't sure this park will be the same now. It's scary now because you don't know if someone's going to come by and just shoot at us or something like that. He says some of his peers are trying to organize an after-school boxing program to keep kids off the streets and out of trouble. So we can take our anger out, not with gun violence. A community caught in the crosshairs of gun violence yet again. We're shook in. Yeah. We'll see everyone. Now one thing we must recognize is that this goes back years, right? Uh, and it's showing up again. 